Hi, I'm Sam Patterson with MyPaperlessClassroom.com, and we're here today to do a quick introduction to Scratch Junior, a programming interface for the iPad designed for students that from ages 5 to 7. We're not going to go through everything in it. I just want to give you enough to get you excited so you'll go in and check it out yourself. When we start with the interface, we can go to adding a new project. And if you're familiar with Scratch, you'll recognize the motion blocks, the control blocks, the trigger blocks, and some of the sound blocks. But we're going to show you those really quickly. There are many options for what you can do with your characters, but we're just going to use the default cat. And you can see that we can build the code just by kind of putting these blocks together and they interlock. And if I press this, it'll show us what he does. I can take, the, take it apart from the end. What do you think that's going to do? Let's see. Ah, it makes them rotate a little bit. If I take these numbers and I make them higher, we'll see he rotates more. Now, you may remember that one of the great things about Scratch is it uses logic present in real programming. Well, here's a repeat loop that goes four times. Let's see what this does. So you'll see the cat's running through its paces four times. Now I can clear all of this away, bring my cat back, and kind of hit the reset button. That's a very handy button. I can show you a couple other things. The triggers are what get the action started. We've got five triggers here, and these are press the green start flag, tap the character, when the character bumps into another character, or when the character receives a message. And then that last one is a send message. So if we pull this down, we can see that we have six different trigger messages that we can send. This can help us structure interactions between more than one character. With these blocks we have the speech block, and if you wanted a student to create an animation that explained or taught something, the speech block can be really important. Now in addition to the speech block, we have fun blocks like grow and shrink and return to normal size, as well as hide and make appear. These can be important if you're creating a dialogue or a scene with Scratch. I'm just going to clear all of these away. You've got sound, but you also have the ability to record. So if you're asking a student to explain how they learned something and write a computer presentation or a program that shows how they did their math problem, for example, or shows what they understand about a science experiment, you can record this right here. And when we hit play, we hear it say, you can record this right here. You can record this right here. So that's a really powerful tool for communicating, learning, and understanding. You've got a wait timer, a speed controller, a loop controller, and a stop. Great programming tools. And then you've got an end as well as a repeat forever. All of those are great, but where content integration comes in is the stage. And if you can get the learning onto the stage, you have a lot of control. So let's look at what you can do with that stage. So if I select this empty room and I hit the paintbrush, that's going to allow me to edit the empty room. I'm going to select, show you the, the, the amazing thing right now. I'm going to show, select the window, I'm going to click the camera, and then I'm going to select the window again. And you can see that I'm outside the room there which means that they could take anything on their desk that they're working on, take a picture of it, and bring it in. What if this were a classroom scene and that was a blackboard? Um, or if you wanted the students to draw a map, bring that whole thing as, in as a picture. So we go to the blank one and do edit and select camera. You can see that they can bring in the whole photo image as a picture. So this is really just the beginning of the different things you can do with Scratch Junior. But when you think about the fact that this is a free app that has all of this functionality, I mean, these functions, the camera import, that's something I pay for, right? I'll show you one more thing. 
It's a bunch of different characters you can add. Look at that variety of characters. Holy cow, you could even be a birthday cake. That's cool. But what I really want is I want to take something that I created in class and bring that in as a character. So let's say I am going to uh, to remember how to do this now. There we go. So I draw a little circle there. I click the camera, I click the circle. I'm going to get my face in there real good. Now, I am a character. So let's add a background. And where did my character go? Excellent. So I am a character. And I can make, now that I have this character selected, I can make myself spin forever. There's a lot of other stuff in this. That's just an introduction. Thank you for watching. I'm Sam Patterson with My Paperless Classroom, and I am so excited about Scratch Junior on the iPad.